Hi everybody, I wanted to make a video and share with you the outcome of swapping the resistors in my uh, Dumble 102 clone. I swapped from just standard Mauser carbon films to Droloric resistors. These would be the closest to the, the Q-line resistors that would have been in the authentic Alexander Dumble built amp. What some people say on the internet is that this will sweeten the tone, bring the amp together, make it do the thing it's supposed to do, but I already loved the amp. So I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know how much of a difference it made. Uh, it sounds fantastic after the swap, but it sounded fantastic before the swap. So it's set up exactly how it was before. Every single knob is in the same place. The settings are all the same. So this should give us a clear picture of what difference there is if there is a difference. I have every control set at five amps in rock mode uh, and it's either clean or just overdrive, no mid boost, no PAB. Um, this is not how I would normally set the amp on stage, but I wanted an easy baseline so that I could ba -boom, boom, 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 easy baseline. I wanted a, an easy baseline measurement uh, with my settings so that I could do an honest comparison. <laughs> Sounds great on the clean channel. Um, I, I can't, I can't honestly tell. Really, until I have this video filmed and I compare it to the previous video side by side, that's the only time I think I'm gonna be able to tell. Okay, let's go to the bridge pickup. Yeah, sound sounds awesome. So, I, I so I guess 
I, what I can say is it still sounds great, but I'm not sure if it's different. I, I'm just not sure. Maybe my ear is just not that tuned in, but to me, if there is a difference, it's super subtle. Okay, now I've got the overdrive channel. Uh, I've already been playing for a second. It sounds awesome. setting Now the neck position. Soft touch playing chords. Okay, and then the one little soft touch example. So, uh, upon 
on evaluating the overdrive channel, I think it sounds amazing and maybe it sounds better. <laughs> I will say I'm, I'm not switching back. These sound great and they're more authentic. So it's win-win. I got these resistors from Gel Welligan, Yele. I don't know. I don't know how you say it, man. Sorry. Uh, and you can you can find them on eBay uh, or around the amp forums. Uh, I I don't I don't know at the moment if I would say you need to spend the extra dough on fancy resistors. Uh, but I have no regrets. I like knowing they're in there and amp still sounds amazing. Okay, after editing that and taking some time to listen to the comparisons, I cannot deny that it sounds better. Uh, it's just something different in the mid-range, but it's it's right, something, something about it's better. Maybe it was my picking attack, maybe it's something I did, something that made the comparison inconsistent. And there are three resistors that are different values in there. The um, the grid on the input of first tube is 22k instead of 33. The grid on the input of the second tube is 56 instead of 68k, and the 390 ohm resistor in the global negative feedback is a 330. So there's that. So I mean, some values changed, but it sounds really good. I, I can't deny that it made a change. I, it, it sounds better. So hopefully this will be helpful to some of you if you're thinking about trying to find um, authentic resistor choices for your builds uh, to see how much or little of a difference it actually makes. Uh, and I, if you're like me, using cool parts in the build, it just feels good. It's not always it's not always about the sound, and it probably should be, but it's not always about the sound. Sometimes you just want the cool parts in there. I'm not positive that it sounds different or much different if it does sound different. Uh, it definitely sounds fantastic. Now, I have it I have it close mic'd, so you're not getting any of the room, but here in the room, it it sounds fantastic. Anyway, let me know what you think because uh, honestly, I'm a little bit up in the air about if I think it sounds different. But I don't know, the overdrive channel is sounding extra sweet right now. Like it all came together. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching.